three ways to figure out the sale price after a discount. The way I see it, if our discount is subtracting 18% off the original price, then I'm just paying the remaining percentage. Percent means out of 100. So if the total price is 100% and I'm getting a discount of 18%, then I'll subtract 18 from 100 to find the sale percentage. 100 minus 18 equals 82. So the original price minus the discount tells me that I'm paying 82% of the total price. That's easy. To turn 82% into a decimal, I have to move my decimal point two spots to the left because there are two zeros in 100. We move one, two, and now we have our decimal, 82 hundredths. 82 hundredths represents our 82% sales price. The original price is $25. Since we are finding the percent we're paying of the original price, remember that of means to multiply. So we will multiply our original price, $25, by the percent we are paying as a decimal, 82 hundredths. We end up with 2,050. Then, remember to place the decimal point. There are two decimals up here, so there are two decimals down here. Bring down the dollar sign, and we get $20.50. That's our sales price, and we did it in one step. But if the question asked us to find the discount total, we can find that too. Our discount would be the original price, what the item usually costs, minus our sales price, what we paid for it after the discount. The difference would tell us how much we saved. That's our discount. $25 minus $20.50 equals $4.50. That's our discount. That looks pretty good. I like finding the discount by using decimals first because I know the discount percentage right from the beginning. And I like solving using proportions because they're so easy to set up. That's right. There's plenty of strategies to use. Try one of these. <laughs>